Hello, everyone. It is your insecurities that is ruining your relationship. You may feel like you are not worth anything. You may feel like the person you are with is too good for you. You may feel like that person is over your league. You may see yourself as trash. You may see yourself as nothing of worth. So inside of your mind, you believe, you feel like people you love, people you like, let's say love, people you love will abandon you. So what do you do? maybe consciously or unconsciously, you may begin to sabotage the relationship. You may start bringing up arguments. Not so much about what is going on between you and the other person, but because of you, because of what you fear. Like, the argument may not have anything to do with the other person, but with what you perceive, what you feel. You may look in the mirror and may think to yourself that you are not cute, that you are not handsome, or you may have gained extra pounds. And because of those things, like you are not worthy so because of how you feel about yourself you may begin starting mess starting arguments starting fights because of that because of how you feel because you think yourself because you think of yourself very lowly you believe the other person is going to leave you, you have to, or you think you have to, start checking their accounts, checking their Facebook account, checking their email account, checking this, checking that, even set up accounts to contact your loved one to see how they are going to react. What is all of this? Isn't this toxic behavior? You say you want to be with someone. You say you want to marry someone, but you are afraid. You can't trust that person, not so much about, not so much for what that person did, but maybe because of what you went through back in your past. Bring in your past issues with your, to your current relationship or relationships. You say you want happiness, but the way you are behaving is contrary to happiness. Like, if you want to be happy, I believe you need to perform a certain way. I believe you need to think and say things in a certain way. So you say you want to be happy, but from the way you speak, the way you behave, the way you think, how can it produce happiness? Are you listening to what I am saying? Inside of your mind, you are thinking, 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 thinking. Thinking of unnecessary things. Thinking of things that may not even happen. Aren't you tired of that? Aren't you, like, stressed enough? Always thinking, always feeling, this person is going to leave me. Uh, 
I know this person is going to leave me, so I have to say this. I have to behave like that. I have to manipulate. I have to lie. I have to do this. I have to do that so that person will stay with me. What about being patient? Hello? What about being meek, being humble? What about being a person to serve the other person. Why do you have to start arguments? Why do you have to fight? Why you have to do these things when you may get very positive results by being a good person? You may talk about the number of people that leave you, okay? Now trace back to those times. How were you acting? What were you saying? What were you doing? Okay, if the way you were performing back then was getting people to leave you alone, why not do the opposite? If people hate my stinking attitude, shouldn't I change it? If people don't like me lying, manipulating, triangulating, if I am saying that word right, maybe I should stop those things. Why should I continue to stress myself out? Why should I continue to be in depression for things that I know I can change? There is a person that comes to mind. And, um, and I kind of know of his ways some. I know if I want to continue speaking to that person, I have to approach that man in a particular way. I know if I say this or do that, chances are that person may not want to speak with me. So why not I concentrate on not annoying that person? If, if I want you to be around, Shouldn't I find out what I should say, what I should not say, what I should do, and what should I not do? Why should I be in constant fear that you are going to leave me? Like, why not be active in doing things that will promote a healthy relationship? other than fearing and doing completely the wrong things in order to try to keep you there. But I am doing bad things that is causing you to reject me. You may say to me, Uncle Kev, what are you trying to say? Get rid of the insecurity. Begin to love yourself, yes. You may not be very handsome, very pretty. You may not be the skinniest person in the world. You may not be the fittest person in the world. But love yourself for who you are. You may be poor, you may be rich. You may be not so good looking or you may be very good looking. Love yourself. I believe if you begin loving yourself, I think there would be, I believe you would probably manipulate less, lie less, gaslight less, triangulate less. I believe you would use less of those toxic, characteristics instead of rehearsing 
negative things about yourself, you should probably go in front of a mirror and say positive things about yourself. You may say, Kevin, well, you know, I don't want to say anything that isn't true about myself. Well, speak in faith. It may not be true about you right now, but I believe if you begin saying it over and over again, it may become true. With many of the negative things you say about yourself or think about yourself right now aren't much of what you say about yourself isn't that untrue? So if you can believe untrue negative things about yourself, shouldn't you believe positive things about yourself that you believe that is not true as well? If you want someone to stay with you, begin to heal. What I don't understand, if you are mentally and or emotionally unwell, why would you continue jumping from relationship to relationship to relationship? You know you are not well. You know there are problems. How do you believe the next relationship is going to be? If 90% or more, let's say there is a high percentage of relationships you get into go very, very wrong. You may have to think to yourself, what am I doing wrong? Let me sit back. Let me stop jumping from man to man to man or woman to woman to woman to woman. Let me sit back, sit back and figure out what is going on with me. Why are my relationships continuing to fail? Like what is going on here? If you know you have a problem with trust, wait until you heal, right? You may say, Uncle Kev, I know what you are saying, but you know, I don't want to be alone. I need someone around. So you want to create chaos in one relationship to the next to the next you want to continue being chaotic you say you want happiness you say you want peace if you are the problem you need to change i hope this stuff makes sense may god bless us